all right family bless bless with family and back again with another topic so i gotta say this to people now uh all right was that before i start this topic guys yeah regardless of the color creed sexual orientation religious denomination or anything like that i think this is education right now all right let me talk about the sdf remember yeah remember this always remember this yeah the british empire uh did not garrison this empire solely based on white soldiers you have to remember that in the beginning before i start this topic so now uh, let me say this let me talk about the sdf if you don't know what the uh, sdf stands for the sdf uh, it stands for sudan defense force yeah so listen whoa 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 what, what's that so you're gonna ask oh what, what's that what's that sudan defense force all right so with that being said let me rewind again so it was not called the sudan defense force up until the second world war or the first world war but before the second world war it was all together as the egyptian the british in or egyptian or indian army they're all together in one like they're lumped up in one army do you get what i'm saying so now let me talk like that the sdf was started back then in uh, uh there was there were more black soldiers from the sudan right a lot of black soldiers from sudan were recruited by the by the british army uh people that more like uh, 13 years 14 15 16 17 uh, 19 18 there are more more, more uh, soldiers as well that have been recruited to fight in the Second World War. How have been recruited? They've been recruited by force, so they've been drafted in the army. But because a, a lot of soldiers that they've been, I mean, a lot of uh, you know locals, a lot, a lot of natives that have been caught, that they caught them up and put them in the army to fight in the Second World War. All right, so in the Second World War, so where's the SDF majorly? Where where did they fight? They fight majorly. Uh, they they are the main determining factor, right? You gotta understand that the, the main determining factor in the Second World War was the Alamein battle, yeah, in the East Af uh, in the East African campaign and the North African campaign. That was the main determining factor where, when the Allies when the Allies won the war against Germany, yeah. So you gotta understand that. So what because the German thought that they're gonna go and trap the British troops in you know in north africa so they're going to trap uh, people here in england you know what i mean in the island so that they, they want to starve them to death but, but like they're, they're not they're not able to get any food from north africa or africa and things like that so the german chose to go there when they chose to go there this, that was the big mistake biggest mistake that they've done when they they said they're going to go there to africa and take everything from the british first so what they did is the british were very smart at the time so they caught up more sudanese sudanese locals native yeah from egypt and sudan all those black soldiers and they put them in the army in the front line yeah one of them was the camel corps the hajana shandy corps uh and all the kufra corps they were all known as that but remember most of the leaders most of the soldiers most of the leaders at the top there were some white soldiers but the people that were fighting aren't really so uh in 19 so the fort in kufra yeah the fort in kufra well if you don't know where kufra is kufra or kafra kufra were a part of libya today but at that time was part of sudan they were there they were inside there they, they were protecting north africa they're protecting basically italian not to come through that way as well they fought in uh, ethiopia eritrea they also took over eritrea you understand that that's what's known as the the Sudan Defence Force or SDF, but was known as that later on, later on after you know the World War was named. But at the time, it was not known as that. It was known as the Egyptian troops and the Egyptian soldiers, right? They've been fought that they, they fought there, and uh, you got to remember that guys. The Alamein bat battle was number one was the determining factor. Repeat again, was the determining factor in the Second World War. And that's why I made, uh, you know, the British and the United Kingdom uh, to win the Second World War. Because at that time, when they won, when they won the battle in Alamein, that's when they're able to cross over to get to Italy. 
you know what I mean? They got to Italy through that, through that area, through North Africa. So the SDF fought in North Africa, they won in North Africa, they won the Alamein battle, they trapped the Germans at that time as well, they fought that really hard. Uh, many, many, many of them died. But you've got to understand that when you go back and, and, and research about history, it's not really well known about them. Uh, the reason was because also because they're black and they haven't been uh, given that, the credit that they deserve and things like that. Some of them are not get, they didn't get paid. Uh, some of them, they just got back to their homeland and, and died like that, like, died poor. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, I think, I think so, some of you might argue, say, oh, we don't know about that history. So, so they're probably fighting because they're going to fight the German as well. And that's why they fight. No, but at the time, if I, were to, uh, if I were to be alive at that time and as a young man at that time, and someone just caught me in uh, by a conscription, put me in the army and took me over to somewhere else, so how the hell, uh, what, how the hell do I know that I'm being fighting to protect myself? No. So, uh, so listen, this is a very, very great lesson, guys, for you in history. You need to understand that in October, the Alamein bat battle will happen in October 1945. October 19, no, October 1942, that when they won that Alamein battle. And Kofra in 1933. Right, one they were, uh, they were, uh, they actually took over, not Kofra, they took over Kirkuk, Kirkuk, which is the home of King Idris of Libya. So they took over Kirkuk as well when the Italian tried to come over to Kofra. So they took it over as well uh, near the Fuzan area. Again, that's a very, very credible information again. And, uh, and, and, and uh, in the Second World War, that's like when you see at the time after the, world, uh, the Second World War was over, then you see General. Uh, Abraham Aboot uh, came here to England and uh, was given, was given, was given a very welcoming, welcoming visit by the Queen herself. The Queen herself took him all over the UK to show him everything uh, about what is going on and what happened. She, she, she took him to Scotland, she took him to a lot of places because that, uh, that was one of the people that were contributed very harshly. You know what I mean? General, her name was General Abraham Aboot. He was the one that led the, the SDF. Right, but he was in second. He was in first in command because he's leading the black soldiers, where he gets the order from uh, from, from from the white soldiers, and that and that's it really. But that's was not been well known in history. They didn't get the credit that they deserve. And I think, guys, uh, to be fair, uh, to be fair, we need to uh, share more history about the British Empire. The British Empire is uh, something that happened in history, and I think we can't just sleep on that. And I hope everyone needs to know and learn about the British Empire because uh, yeah, I didn't know that before, but I've also made research on it and I learned about This is the SDF, was known as the Sudan Defence Force. I hope you learned something new today, family. Bless, stay blessed. I'm out.